In 1492 CE, the Renaissance movement began in Spain. The strength of the Catholic monarchs and the unification of the Spanish kingdoms of Castile and León and Aragon eventually led to the period known as El Siglo de Oro, or the Spanish Golden Age, which was a reaction to the Renaissance in Spain. This period of cultural achievement spanned the 16th and 17th centuries. Renaissance simply means rebirth, though in Spain, many believe that this period was a birth rather than a rebirth. This is because the Renaissance originated in Italy, where there was a return to the Greek and Roman styles of art and literature. This desire to return to classical styles was caused in part by the clashing of cultures that occurred during the Crusades a few years earlier. The Crusades led to an exchange of information and a new worldly perspective for both cultures involved. However, Greek and Roman styles were more specific to Central Europe and Spain. Therefore, Spain's Renaissance is unique to its country and established a distinct culture and heritage. It was not necessarily based on the same ancient cultures as its Italian counterpart. During this period, inventions that improved communication, such as the printing press, were the reason why the Renaissance movement traveled to Spain. For example, at the beginning of the Spanish Renaissance, the first Spanish grammar book was published and distributed all across the empire, kickstarting the enhanced and uniform communication that characterized this time period. Other notable achievements that began the Renaissance include Christopher Columbus's voyage to the New World in 1492, the dominance of Catholicism over other religions, a secularized approach to art, and the colonization of South America. The main focus of the Renaissance was to transform the output of culture. In terms of literature, many great works and authors emerged. In 1499, Fernando de Rojas wrote La Celestina, a fictional story of two doomed lovers. Another notable work is Lazarillo de Tormes, a collection of life lessons that exemplify the specific cultural aspects of society in these times. Lazarillo de Tormes was the first novel of the picaresque genre, which demonstrated the distinct social classes present in the societies of the 16th century. It does this through episodic stories that follow the life of a young folk. Another good literary example of Spain's Renaissance is Miguel de Cervantes's Don Quixote, still a popular fantastical story in our day and age. Juan Boscan was also an influential writer. His works focused on love and were written in the vernacular language. He also introduced the 11-syllable poetic structure known as hendecosyllable poems. Other known contributors to Spanish literature include Tirso de Molina, a dramatist, Lope de Vega, a playwright, and Pedro Calderón de la Barca, a poet. In addition to cultural advances in writing, artistic techniques also evolved during the Spanish Renaissance. A sense of freedom and artistic expression developed. People no longer painted solely religious paintings and instead secular ideas were explored. This led to an outburst of new artistic styles and innovative painters. Around 1490, for example, a style of art called Mannerism developed as a result of the Renaissance. This was an intellectual approach to art that originated in Italy and appealed to the higher classes of Spain. Some famous artists from the Spanish Renaissance include Goya, who is known for creating black paintings such as Saturno de Barbando a su hijo. Another famous artist is Velázquez. He was a court painter that was brought into the palace to paint the royal family. His masterpiece is called Las Meninas, a painting for the Princess Margarita. The Baroque movement was another artistic advancement. It began in 1590 and became widely popular as it appealed to the Catholic monarchs of Spain. It dealt with themes like memento mori and the passage of time. Memento mori is literally a reminder of death and emphasized the decline of the monarchy during the reign of King Charles II. The Baroque style is characterized by highly ornamented language and music. This technique is known as culturalism. Culturalism also includes a focus on a central message. This theme is known as conceptism. Finally, as an aftermath of the Renaissance, Romanticism emerged. It utilized themes of heroism, liberty, humanity, and focus on the individual. These new artistic styles were so diversified and attractive that there was truly something for everybody. Architecture was another part of the Spanish Renaissance that developed dramatically. Ideas that came from Italy allowed Spain to develop many new forms of architecture, from the early Gothic style to the late flamboyant style. For example, 
The Plateresque style came after the Gothic era and introduced exaggerated and ornate structures. Architects like Rodrigo Gil de Ontañón helped develop this by creating works such as the Cathedral of Salamanca. However, the most well-known building created from the Renaissance was the El Escorial that was created by Pedro Machuca, a structure that showcased Mannerist styles. Spanish dance and music were also a very important part of the Spanish Renaissance. Dance styles included the Fandango, the Bolero, the Sibianas, the Sardana, the Jota, and the Flamenco, which is the most famous. To pair with this, Renaissance music was further developed by people such as Tomas Luis de Victoria, who used mysticism in his works. Francisco Guerrero is also notable as he developed liturgical music, which related to religion. New inventions such as the vihuela, a stringed instrument that has 12 pairs of strings, became very useful in both Spanish dance and music. The Spanish Renaissance had both short-term and long-term effects. Short-term, the ideas of the Spanish Renaissance later influenced the spread of Romanticism, a more realistic way of thinking for Spanish people. It changed the way people acted and what they put their faith into. In the long term, the paintings and other outputs of culture that were created and enjoyed in the 16th century are still celebrated today. Las Meninas by Velázquez was recently used in shopping mall ads in Spain. Spanish and English literature classes across the nation study Don Quixote as part of the required curriculum due to its central themes and styles. Different forms of Spanish dance are still practiced today, and Spanish classical guitar styles have evolved from the Renaissance. This makes the Spanish Renaissance truly significant, for it was the catalyst that created the foundation of Spain's culture. You come in, and then you bow and slash curtsy. And then, and then you turn around. <laughs>